When you think of ways to become more sustainable, you may think of recycling, turning off water when not in use, or using green energy. But have you ever thought about the environmental impact of your digital activities? It's all a part of your digital carbon footprint. What exactly is a digital carbon footprint? It's the measurement of the greenhouse gas emissions that are linked to powering your internet activities and digital services. As the world becomes increasingly connected, our individual and collective digital footprints also continue to grow. Watching a video, sending an email, and storing files on the cloud all require energy, resulting in the emission of carbon dioxide. The continuous rise in greenhouse gas emissions is linked to extremely disruptive changes in the planet's weather, air, and land systems. While it may seem harmless to leave your favorite TV shows playing when no one is watching, this, multiplied by millions of people, is inadvertently impacting the environment. As the number of users and internet devices continues to rise globally, it's more important than ever to do what we can to shrink the size of our personal and organizational digital footprints. Fortunately, there are three simple actions you can take to reduce your digital footprint at home and at work. First, maintain your digital devices by using devices such as laptops and phones for longer periods of time before upgrading. This will reduce demand for new devices and decrease mining materials needed to produce them. And when you log off on Friday afternoon, unplug devices in your office, such as computers, printers, and monitors. They continue to use power even when idle. The second action is to actively manage your cloud usage. Ways to do this include, keep your email inbox uncluttered to reduce the amount of storage, Regularly delete emails that you don't need. Periodically empty the temp folder on your computer to minimize data transferring behind the scenes. And limit your number of accounts and subscriptions. You can also go through older services and deactivate ones you no longer use. Finally, prioritize low energy activities. For example, prioritize audio over video. Video streaming is responsible for over 75% of data traffic globally. Download content that will be used more than once rather than streaming each time. This cuts down on energy and data consumption. And dim your display. Dimming your display to 70% can save around 20% of energy used by a monitor. Now that you know how you can reduce your digital carbon footprint, are you ready to take action? With new technology surrounding us all, be sure to use it responsibly to make a positive impact on the environment. Visit our website to learn how NTT Data is empowering employees to support its sustainability goals.